Today we show you how to paint a laser cut wood structure kit to give it that worn and used look right now. tools we'll be using today. A plastic paint palette, a flat paint brush, a pipette, A bottle of water, a grout sponge, um, apple, apple barrel, acrylic paint. This one is pewter gray. And these apple barrel paints can be purchased at Walmart for a dollar a bottle. Actually 98 cents a bottle. So if you ever need a um, acrylic craft paint Go to Walmart, they have a whole big selection of different colors. And this one is khaki. And that. We're going to start off by making a wash or stain from our pewter gray paint. We're going to take a drop of pewter gray and place it into our paint palette. We're then going to take some of the water from here using a pipette and we'll water the paint down to make it the consistency needed for a wash. You will start with 10 drops of water, mix it up, and see how it looks. Okay, it still looks a little heavy on the paint, so I'll add about 10 more drops of water.
Okay, now the consistency is just about right. If we tap it on the side, it runs all the way down to the bottom. So we'll start by placing the pewter gray wash onto all of our parts. We'll start with the dock legs and go from there. Now be sure to cover all the surfaces Oops. So our camera there for a little bit so All right, now we have our first set of dock legs is stained with the pewter gray. I don't know if you can see the wood grain texture showing up that we applied with the razor saw. Hopefully you can. So we'll continue with the rest of the dock legs and the ramp legs and we will get back to you. Okay, we have the dock legs and the rear blades stained, and we'll show you those right now. Okay. 
So now we'll move on to the ramp and the dock. Okay, we have the dock stained. Let me get a close up here. I don't know if the wood grain texture shows up there. Yeah, it does. And remember to paint both sides, or stain both sides, I should say. And it's also uh, handy if you have a roll of paper towel close by. Now we're going to stain the deck or the the ramp. Show you how we do this. And depending if you want to make it lighter or darker, uh, you can go over it multiple times. But since we are, um, since we're going it over, going over it with a uh, black, then that should make it dark enough. This process is to make the wood look aged. Um, from the years of being out in the weather and stuff like that. So we'll finish up the ramp and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got the dock and the ramp stained, so we'll show them too. We also made sure to cover all the backs and all the sides that show. So now we will make a black wash using the same process that we did for the gray wash or stain. There's also a technique you can use with India ink and alcohol, but we decided against that because this will be, um, we think this is a uh, better process. The one thing you need to be careful of is warping. Since these are water-based paints thinned with water, you need to be sure that the pieces you're staining and painting are properly braced. Okay, now we're going to make our black stain. We'll make this the same way we made our pewter gray stain. We decided against the black stain because this makes it look 
a little too dark. We were trying to add some variation in the colors and it came out a little too dark. So we'll pass on the black stain and then we'll move on to uh, paint. This next technique, like the stain technique, is one that Jason Jensen of Jason Jensen Trains uses. This technique will give a peeling paint effect so we'll take our khaki paint and put it full strength in the paint palette. And then we'll take our our foam style grout sponge And we'll dip it rough side in the paint. And then we'll dab most of it off. So we just get a little bit of paint on there. And then we'll take our piece and you'll dab dab the paint on. Then we'll flip it over. Actually, let me zoom in here. And we'll show you up close. Just wanna lightly dab it. Come on, load up some more paint. Make sure to get the ends as well.
go right on the exposed side because that where that's where the uh, weather would affect it the most and uh, have the most peeling paint effect. Let me zoom out a little bit. That should help with the focus. As you can see, that gives us a nice peeling paint effect. So we'll continue on with the rest of these and we'll be right back. So we've got our um, peel paint applied to the dock and ramp legs. As you can see, um, they did start to warp a little bit. So we're going to place them down on a flat surface and wait them until they dry. Now we're going to move on to the loading dock and the dock ramp. We'll start with the dock ramp going heavier around the edges and lighter in the middle because the middle is where the most traffic would have been. Okay, now let's move on to the duck deck. Okay, we'll take our sponge. And we'll tab the excess off and we'll do the same same technique here for the edges. Go heavy around the edges because there's not as much wear there, not as much people traffic. Then we'll go light around the front edge. And light on the rest of the dock. And we'll flip it over and uh, let's change this paper towel here. So 
So we'll flip it over and do the same to the back. Actually, we'll go really heavy on the back because this side is not exposed to the weather near as much as the top of the deck. Okay, we'll want to uh, weight this piece down as well since it's a little warped and weight it down until it dry. So we've got everything weighted down and drying. So next time we'll do the final assembly and the weathering on the LCL ramp. So stay tuned until next time. And now it's time for the Featured Friday Channel of the Week. The Featured Friday Channel of the Week this week is Indian Head Valley Railroad. Host Wilmer Ellery is a great asset to the YouTube model railroad community. He helps promote new YouTubers through his Not Bad show. Above all that, Wilmer is a great guy and will do anything to help you. I'm including a link to his channel in the description below. I strongly urge you to go over, check out his videos, and subscribe.